All right, welcome everyone. In this video, uh, it's just kind of a continuation of the series of me powering up this old Bridgeport mill. This will be the first test power of the variable frequency drive. And we're gonna use the manual and we're gonna set some parameters. I think that'd be kind of neat. And there's, there's a better video out there. Uh, the man, uh, Clow42, C-L-O-U-G-H 42, I believe is how he spells it, uh, named James. Man, he has, he has a lot of good videos. Check those out. But anyway, uh, this is based uh, loosely off some of that, and uh, he had a 120-volt version. Mine will be 240, and uh, we'll just the, the coils of the relay were uh, 120. So let's just power this up, set a few parameters, just, just kind of for fun, and uh, we'll get, get the first look at the variable frequency drive. All right. And uh, I previously set the the initial starting frequency to six uh, hertz. So I don't know if if that's correct or not based on my motor. I'll do some more research. It's an old motor, uh, so that's just what it's, it's set for now. And let's get into the parameters. And there is something I want to set right now while I'm thinking about it. And we'll get the book. And I want to change. The carrier frequency, and that's the kilohertz, and the carrier mode selection. So for carrier frequency, it's parameter 1101. So I want to go to, let's move this cursor over to, there we go, 11. Not too far. 11. 01. All right. Enter. Oh, long press of the enter button. All right, right now it's set to five. Default was five, one through 16. I noticed on his video that uh, if you have short cables, it'll really bring the noise level down. It actually just takes to a frequency that humans don't hear as well. So we're gonna take it all the way to max at 16,000 Hertz. And that's stored. Let's do the, uh, let's do the, what is it? Carrier selection mode. Oh yeah, carrier mode selection. Parameter 1102. This is a big one. They're not usually set to proper three phase from the factory. So 1102 says it's uh, on selection one, which would be uh, two phase pulse width modulation. Yeah, we want three phase. How do we do that? That's uh, parameter zero. Take it in the zero, long press. See if it took. Yep. All right. So now we know we're we're gonna be in good shape there. Make sure. All right. In. There we go. All right. And let me find another parameter we want to set here. Something I've already done. Main frequency source selection. That'll be. Uh, that'll be my external. Analog voltage input via potentiometer. So I'll have to do that later. I don't have any of the controls hooked up right now. Let's set the frequency upper limit. I think I may have done that yet. I don't know if I've done that yet or not. Frequency upper limit, parameter 0012. Zero, 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 0012. Long press. Yeah, 60 hertz, okay. Well, and I don't think I'm going to overdrive my old motor in this mill. I don't think the bearings could handle 120 hertz, so I'll just have to leave it at that. Let's set the lower limit. Make sure that stays. The lower limit. Yeah, frequency lower limit is 13. Lower limit shows zero. I don't want to run it. Uh -oh. I don't want to run it that slow. I want to have to have an external fan, too. There we go. Let's see if it took. Yep. All right. What is the accel okay, acceleration deceleration time? Let's do that real quick. 0014. 10 seconds. Yeah. So let's go to maybe just for just to start out and see how my old motor responds to it. Let's take it down to five seconds. I think that'd be a good starting point. Deceleration time is parameter 0015. And for the same, 
we'll go to five seconds. Wrong press. Now I really like how everything seems to be functioning well. And I have the initial setting at six hertz, so that's good. And for now, I don't think I can do any of the controls uh, as far as the external controls. So that's really all I can do right now just to get going. Um, so in the event of a power loss, this is what would happen. This will simulate my off button. Relays on latch. And I think it says 10 seconds maybe in the book or something like that, that it'll fire down. Yep. Capacitors, I guess, decharging. Yep, and it's out. All right, so the next thing to do is just hook up my wire. I think I'm just going to use 16 gauge, and I'm just going to use uh, just a normal 16 gauge orange cord long one, and I'll run an external ground. So this will all be put inside of a box and properly grounded with cooling fans, and I'll have to place a cooling fan on top of the motor too when it's running below. Because of the constant torque, the motor will heat up with that external cooling. That'll stay constant. And uh, that'll be something that I'll have to do in another video. Thanks for watching.